Hey guys, welcome back. One Night Sniper here. Uh, we are playing Bioshock. So we're here at the uh, Hephaestus. We're trying to overload the circuitry here to open up Andrew Ryan's door. There's a lot of stuff going on right now with the alarms going off. And Splicers everywhere. And I'm missing. There we go. Couple wasted shots there. Alright, we just released a bunch of lava that uh, should have opened up the access we needed. Well, where is this telling us to go? Place the device in the core. That's heat loss monitoring. We gotta go to. Alright, let's check out heat loss monitoring. Uh, heat loss. Okay, so that's probably an error we'll have to go to later, so let's actually just skip that. Gotcha. Right, let's pick up some Eve hypos if we can. Alright, what else we got going on here? Stayed. To build a city at the bottom of the sea, insanity. But where else could we be free from the clutching hand of the parasites? Where else could we build an economy that they would not try to control? A society that they would not try to destroy? It was not impossible to build rapture at the bottom of the sea. It was impossible to build it anywhere else. Those are insanely expensive. Alright, so it looks like there's just items down here, not where we we're supposed to place the bomb. So I think I need to go up a little bit. Aha, uh -huh, wrong. Okay. I get it now. There's a couple levels. I don't think we've been up over here yet. Maybe I am supposed to drop down. What the hell? Oh, there's an elevator right here. Alright, I'm an idiot. Alright, where's this bomb going? That way. So far away from your family, from your friends, from everything you ever loved. But for some reason, you like it here. You feel something you can't quite put your finger on. Think about it for a second. And maybe the word will come to you. Nostalgia. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, nostalgia, like as if we've been here before. I think it's what he's hinting at. Shorten alarms too. Uh, frequent security alarms driving you deaf. Reduce the pain with new improved shortened alarms too. Yeah, I don't see us needing that too much. Full up on electric buck, huh? Alright. plundered city? Mark my words, your only reward will be a knife in the back. Okay, so I still do want to go into the heat loss monitoring, so I guess we'll head there now if we can. I should have done that before. Just take out these bots, I guess. out for me so well. Leave me alone. <laughs> I send you what the hell? That was really sloppy. Alright, let's see what's down here. And we're heading off to me, Ryan. A lot of dead here. Okay. Alright, well I switched the anti-personnel rounds, if you didn't notice that. And let's get some bees. guys are screwing with me. I don't like it. <laughs> Bastards. Get out of here. Before the final rat has eaten the last gram of you. Rapture will have returned. I will lead a parade. Who was that, they'll say, as they point to the sad shape hanging on my wall. 
What was that? Wonder why he I wonder if that was triggered if you go into this area or maybe this yeah, I don't know, that was weird. Uh, I don't think we really need anything. We'll get some buckshot. Why not? Getting closer. had way more of these items than you needed. Like, they're pretty much everywhere. Let me tell you something about keyboards and all them university types. They're so smart, except when they ain't. I put a couple of drinks in him last week, and before I could say boo, he's telling me he's got the code to his office keyed to the date of Australia Day. How's every week I slip in real gentle and nick a buck or two from the till? The Aussie never notices, and I ain't about to tell him. Seems like there's all kind of crazy stuff back there. Maybe... Maybe one day I'll get more ambitious. Hmm. <laughs> that might have been that office we went into that had all the, uh... traps in it. I guess you'd have to look up the date of Australia Day, because I don't just know that. Well, we've already hacked it, so it doesn't really matter. So where do we need to go now? There should be stairs around here. I must have passed them. Yeah, it's just here a minute ago. It scared me. Let's go ahead and use some frag grenades since we keep picking up so many. The circuit breakers over there, yeah. We can't really take care of this crop himself. Because Mr. Ryan's got more important things to do than to enforce loyalty in the ranks. Say hello to Fontaine, you backstabbing son of a bitch. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. A man builds a city at the bottom of the sea. That's a marvel. Another man happens to be on a plane that crash lands on the same city in the middle of the ocean. Why, that sounds more like a miracle. What are you trying to say, Ryan? Spit it out. I begged Mr. Ryan to hand Fontaine's futuristics over to Atlas's boys as a peace offering. But the stupid sod won't listen to reason. Instead, he's just splicing his mob up, giving them more and tougher plasmids. There's an arms race on here in Rapture, but it's not about who can build the best guns and the biggest bombs. It's about who can become less of a man and more of a monster. So, it looks like the 
That's kind of where the plan was to hand over Fontaine's stuff to Atlas. Which I don't know if we've been told that before. Uh, no, there wasn't anything too special down here, I guess. Sorry, buddy, I did not mean to do that. No, don't. Son of a bitch. Alright. Gotta go. Because you're a dick. It's not what I intended to happen. It's my fault, though. 69 dollars, I guess I'll take it. A lot of electric gel used though. Alright, I thought I saw a... gene tonic or something around here. Oh, there we go. Security Evasion 2. Uh, why let them know where you've been lately? The latest version of Security Evasion lets you bypass any security camera or turret with ease. Okay. That'll work. I didn't recognize the twist that come into the shop today. Stacked like Sally and dressed to the nines. She's played her cards pretty close to the vest, but you ain't gotta be no college job to see that she's into some bad china. She was asking about magnetic locks and some such. I played it coy, but she took wise. After she showed me round her backyard, I gave her directions to Keyboard's Tool Shop. Rapture's gone to hell. But sometimes, the great chain still cuts you a break. Uh, that must have been... Yeah, Anders... Anders' daughter. He was talking about. Oh yeah, I was gonna use... Alright, have we finished this area? Is everything done? We have. Alright, so now we can head back to Ryan's. Let's go ahead and do that. So hopefully we don't meet too much resistance along the way. I have expected these guys to pop up since we were on our way out. Oh, I thought that was me triggering the alarm again. There we go, did you like that? Taking a picture of you yet? I have, apparently. What are you looking angry about? Alright. Andrew Ryan's office, here we come.
Well, Ryan's a little pissed off. Where are you going? Really? She's living through a lot. Alright. Well, that's taken care of. Alright, we got a robot. Shit. Alright, let's, uh... Hack it. Oh, screw hacking it. Just want to kill the guy. Let's get the insects in there. There we go. Comes the bees. Is that everybody? Oh. Just turn a circuit breaker. Makes sense. Let's go meet this this dude. It wasn't really his office at all. It was oh, okay. Yeah, it is. All right, our goal is kill Andrew Ryan. Pretty straightforward. Sometimes you find truth. There is indeed a season for all things. And now that I see you flesh to flesh and blood to blood, I know I cannot raise my hand against you. But know this. You are my greatest disappointment. Does your master hear me? Atlas! You can kill me, but you will never have my city! My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy! Ryan needs to calm down a little bit. Come now, my child. There is one final thing to discuss. What? Ryan set the core to self-destruct. This is different than what you did. He's got a mind to take down the whole damn city. Get in there and whack the chunk for the whole joint blows. All right. A little bit of urgency here. Still going to take time to pick things up and listen to audio tapes. Client 
the Ryan Industries, a stage one age complete. Sinclair and Alexander tried to explain the science to me, but Suchan does not believe them. They keep saying plasmid reconstruction this and quantum entanglement that, and then both dead people come back to life. Bullshit! Of course, Ryan will only allow it to be tuned to his genetic frequencies for the testing. <laughs> Okay. Well, we know from plenty of experience divided chambers, in fact, do work. Anything we need? Let's get some first aid kits. Alright. Plenty of napalm. Alright, I think we're pretty well stocked, actually, so... Actually, let's see what we got around here. A platform to nothing, that's good. Oh, so Ryan's door is most likely jammed or something. I just want to make sure there's no power to the people stationed in here that I'm going to miss or something. Because I have a feeling we're not going to be able to come back. Doesn't look like it. Let me see if Ryan's door opens. I don't think it will. Yeah. Alright, well let's uh, crawl our way through the air duct then. So would you kindly is uh, scrawled on the wall. That's actually something that uh, Atlas says to us a lot. I'm not sure this little tableau is it is. Alright, let's listen to these two tapes. So it looks like Dr. Shushong was Sushong was working on mind control and used the words would you kindly as the trigger. Let's see what this other one has to say. Advanced deployment, lot 111, Dr. Sushong, client Fontaine Futuristics. Baby is now a year old. Weighs 58 pounds. And possesses gross musculature of a fit 19 year old. The results are disappointing, but within expected tolerances. Alright, and then they had a baby that uh, basically was aged 19 years in a year that they were working on. Alright, let's head in here. Assassin, a 
has overcome my final defense. And now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man, something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. Stop, would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit, would you kindly? Stand, would you kindly? Run! Stop! Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! So I'm not sure the motivation there behind Ryan uh, basically having us kill him. I mean, the only thing I could think of is that he was hoping we would be able to choose, like break the mind control. But yeah, so Atlas has been uh, mind controlling us this whole time. Uh, he just asked us to, like basically told us to uh, put the key in the machine, which we really don't have a choice because we can't move on if we don't. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So that baby that we were talking about in the audio tape uh, was basically our character. He uh, was uh, basically Ryan's child. And uh, they took him and then genetically modified him so he'd age quickly and gave him fake memories and all that. Which is, explains why we were able to use the bathospheres because they were coded specifically for Ryan's genetic genetics and that's how we were able to use them well we found that out a long time ago the genetic code thing Of 
once I was even a Chinaman for six months. But you've been a sword. So I guess I owe you a little honesty. The name's Frank Fontaine. I gotta say, I had a lot of business partners in my life, but you, of course, the fact that you were genetically conditioned to bark like a cocker spaniel when I said, would you kindly, might have had something to do with it, but still. Now, as soon as that machine finishes processing the genetic key you just fished off Ryan, I'm gonna run Rapture tits to toes. You've been a pal, but you know what they say? Never mix business with friendship. Thanks for everything, kid. Don't forget to say hi to Ryan for me. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap. Alright, let's go, Electric Buck. Alright. Get out of the way, guys. Get out of the way. It's like we're following the little sisters. Ah. Welcome back, child. Welcome to the city where you were born. You are angry at Fontaine, yes? Now you know the truth. You are his tool. Brought back to Rapture to save him. You have committed many sins, but perhaps you can find some redemption. While you sleep, I undo some of Fontaine's mental conditioning. His control is no longer complete, but he can still pull some very unpleasant strings. We made your mind with many locks and keys. Fontaine has most of those keys, but not all. Su-chan designed your mind, taught Fontaine to control you. You might find answers in su Chang's flat in Mercury Suites. Okay, yeah, so we've got a lot of doozies in this episode. One, we were being mind-controlled. Two, Atlas is just a fake dick who's Fontaine, who's just using you. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So that's like the big, big twist for the story. Um, I think there's actually some more coming up, but, uh, this episode's went way too long, so I'm gonna go and end it right here, uh, and we will hopefully be able to break this mind control here in the future, so, uh, but alright guys, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!